Thank you very much. Thanks, MJ. Shame. Poor Aldo. He's getting it from all ends. First of all, let's chat about you. How are you feeling? Yeah, no, a little bit banged up, but we're okay. Nothing we're not used to. Take us through the race, Aldo, because um, obviously looked to be the right one on paper. There was some late money. Uh, but you gave this one a peach of a ride. I mean, she quickened and she extended well. Yeah, fancy day. I thought, I thought her work at home has shown that she's progressed quite nicely. You can see she's a tall filly. She looked amazing in the ring, but uh, instructions are not to go to the front and... I found myself there, so I couldn't really dispute uh, where she was comfortable, so I just kept her in that rhythm, and she had 61, so I wasn't going to pull her a bite. She was in a nice bit of uh, a groove, so followed her, kicked. The minute the horses came to her, she started finding in. She's three years old, carrying 61 and a half, so that's nice sort of progress. She's finally starting to feel like the filly I thought she was early on, and I think she's got a fair future ahead of her. If you don't mind me asking, I'm sure punters will appreciate feedback. That filly early on, Elorix, were you a bit disappointed? As I said, when MJ asked me, her work was a bit poor this week, and um, I hope the public uh, paid a bit of attention to that. I did suggest that they cover up and uh, went to the start very scratchy, so I wasn't too pleased with her when she went to the start, and um, I tried to give every chance to tie around the race off, and she, I think maybe three sprints so close to one another wasn't perhaps ideal, and uh, we'll go back to the drawing board, maybe get her moving a bit better, and then perhaps go a bit further, and... I think she'll be a bit more competitive then. Dobby, well done over here. Go and get some rest. And um, yeah, I think you, at some stage, going to need the unkindest cut of all. <laughs> no, I think all of us, boy. But uh, thanks so much and uh, love to the family. Well done. There we go. Good stuff. That's Aldo Dermayer. I know he was a little bit scratchy last word. Just a little bit. Of thank you to Mr. Riley and, and Mr. Shirtliff. Big supporters of this filly. And uh, I think you've got a nice filly on your hands. A bit of patience, which you've showed so far. I'm sure we'll have some fun. Well done, Aldo. Good stuff. Yeah, he's off. He'll go and get the massage needed. And hopefully we'll see him back on Tuesday. Yeah, at Hollywood Bets, Kenilworth. Well done to Candace Bass Robinson. Well done to all the owners involved. That's it from my side. Thanks to the punting public. Back to you, Vicky. Thank you very much, Brandon. Lovely way to round off the day for Nordic Quest, winning the daughter of Karari. Candace, well done. Thank you. Lucky last again for a change. We're back to that uh, routine again, Vicky. No, it is you are in the winner's box. That's always the important thing. And uh, the fact that Aldo has managed to uh, ride it to victory, I think, is another positive after taking a tumble earlier today. Yeah, no, Shami he, he had a nasty fall, so I'm glad that he's back in the irons. And uh, thank you for getting yourself together and riding her because there wasn't anybody else left to ride. So thank you for that. And I uh, thought he rode her well today. I know I did say to him that I didn't want to, to be too handy, but the race worked out differently. And, uh, you know, she's, she's a lovely big filly, Vicky. She's taken some time to come to hand now, and uh, she's really matured into a lovely filly. I think she's still got maturing to do, and she's, she's absolutely huge. So back over the sprint distances, I think, you know, she's going to be a, a very handy sprinter. Um, she's got a lovely pedigree. She wasn't a very cheap filly, so I'm sure that, you know, she'll have a nice uh, stud. Um, career ahead of her after this when she's done but uh, well done to Marsh and Brian and to Peter um, you know the three of them they've been really passionate about this filly and uh, was always under a lot of pressure earlier on because she wasn't cheap as I said and I'm glad she's turned out to be you know what I thought she would be and what she showed us early on. Candice well done for the win. Thank you very much. Next up we've got uh, both Brian Riley and Marsh Oakliff standing in the in the wings but as Candice mentioned, she, um, she's turning out to be a very lovely progressive type of sprinter. Yeah, she's lovely. Um, we were just talking afterwards and she wasn't blowing at all, which surprised me. Most horses do when they come in after a sprint like that. And I thought she won with ease. Um, it was, nothing was going to catch her. Aldo positioned her beautiful. And uh, I know that wasn't what he was going to do, but, but that's where he ended up. And, and I thought, I never, I never felt a sweat. I never, normally it's... it's it's a difficult finish and you're, you're hoping it wins. But it looked home and dry 400 metres out. So I think we got a nice filly. Um, she's finished out of the places twice when she's run over 14 and 1,600 metres. So that probably tells us the story. But uh, anyway, delighted for Marsh and for Peter Groff. And uh, it's lovely to have a nice filly on our hands. It is indeed, especially the sprinting tops. Well done. Thank you. Marsh, lovely win for you too. Yeah, well done to my partners, Peter Groff. Um, and to Brian, who's leaving us shortly for Australia. But um, hopefully, hopefully we'll be back to see this filly win again because she, she certainly looks like she'll win again. And then to Normandy Obredo, well done to Candice and Aldo for a very nice ride. As Brian said, um, she certainly looked like she was going to win a few hundred out. And uh, he certainly got her there in, in good shape. Yeah, nice win. And Marsh, you having a good run, so well done. Hope that continues. Yeah, I'm all right, so <laughs> always could be better, but I'm happy. Thanks. Very good, well done. Thanks, Vicky. Well done, well done to uh, both uh, Marsh and um, 
and Brian as well as uh, Peter Croft, Lummis Croft, are part of the ownership. Well, it's normally stud, uh, the folks is lovely family this and a lovely win from her. It looks like a progressive sprinting filly, most certainly a filly we can uh, watch going forward. Number three, Nordic Quest is your winner of the lucky last, as Candice mentioned. Thank you very much to all of you for joining us and uh, for a wonderful day. Also to the production team for all they do behind the scenes. We'll see you again at Hollywood Bets Kenilworth on Tuesday the 26th of March. See you there. It's going to be a brilliant day. Last but not least, that was race nine, the last leg of the pick six, Hollywood Best Bright Future Class 4 for Phyllis and Mess, over 1,200 meters. With me is Bongi. Off camera speaking to him, he was explaining to me that Nodi Quest has been doing well. She's been running well in the 1,200s, but then once they tried her on the 1,600, she ran badly. But then Bongi, we know Bongi can jump since I uh, just thank you, since uh, not a quest, my horse has come to pack to uh, 1200. It's a nice one all the time. So I'm just saying thank you, Aldo. Also, three nine owners, please thank you. Talking about Aldo, he went down earlier on in the races. And was that not a concern in the stable that now he's going to ride no request, which to me was my favorite anyway? Were there any worries? Bonga to Ganga go to Aldo Angega Gibelegat? No, I'm just asking the, to Aldo what you think today. So he, he told me, I think you have got a chance today. Okay. Great team effort by Candice Best Robinson Yard, and then congratulations. This is 1000 bucks to you from Hollywood Bets and Cape Racing, Hollywood Bets Moment. Also, myself, thank you. Congratulations. That was Bongi, the winning groom for Nodi Quest on number three, on race nine. That was it from us here at Oldwood Bets Kenilworth. Congratulations to the Nomendi Start Farm for breeding this, start, this girl. And of course, my own course team, MJ, Brendan, Vicky, Ali, and Devon Pretorius with a super commentary. From me, Kabelongana Matabu, Keremoshat.